Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Q&A. It's been a while since I did any of these, so I apologize. One of the commonly asked questions is, what's the difference between a Black Prince and a Black Knight? Well, first things first, the Black Knight is not the correct name. The correct name is Affinis. It is a species name, which is why it sounds Latin, unlike the Black Prince, because that is a hybrid. Right off the bat, I can tell you that your confusion between the two is justified because the Black Prince is a hybrid based on the Affinis and the Shavayana. I present to you these two. This one on the right is the Affinis and on the left, this is the Black Prince. If you've been watching my Let's Plant videos, then you'll know that I've been having bad luck with these two varieties. All of my Black Princes were infested by insects and they had massive damage. If you'd look closely, you could still see the damage at the base of the leaves. Although, as you would see, I managed to get it back to health now. Back when I was giving it a lot more care two years ago, it was looking a lot better than this. It had a very dense rosette, a huge number of leaves, and it looked really happy. If you look at it right now, you could see that there's a lesser amount of leaves. There's lots of gaps in between. And that's where I remove all of the, the rotten, the, the dead leaves. And this places us at a unique advantage in that I can show you the leaves much easier. It's one of the ways to tell them apart is of course the leaf shape and another would be the color. Although at some conditions they could have the same color. So let me walk you through them. You know I've been so used to calling this the Black Knight. So just to make things easier for all of us I'm going to call it the Black Knight from here on out. The Black Knight compared to the Black Prince. One of the ways to tell them apart is the shape of the leaves. If you would look closely, the Black Knight has slender leaves. It starts off narrow at the base, then widens off a bit, then it tapers off gradually until you reach the, the sharp tip. The Black Prince, on the other hand, starts off narrow, then goes really wide, then tapers abruptly to the sharp tip. An analogy I like to give them is that the Black Knight has swords or spears based on the shape. While the Black Prince has shields to protect itself because of the wideness of the leaves. Another way to tell them apart is from the color. And the specimen that I have right now isn't representative of the typical color of the Black Prince because I had this in the shade for a few weeks for it to recover. And I only moved it out recently, which is why it's more brown red than the typical black. But generally speaking, the Black Knight tends to be blacker, darker compared to the Black Prince. The Black Prince, when stressed, turns dark brown and eventually the more stress it is, the less water it gets, then it turns bright orange. The Black Knight, not so much. And lastly, another way to tell them apart is the shape of the rosette. Given the same growing conditions, the Black Knight will almost always be pointed upwards, while the Black Prince tends to be more open. Of course, this can change at various parts of the year. When it's a lot warmer, the Black Prince tends to curl up a bit to protect itself. But the way I would describe it is that it looks like an armadillo or a pangolin. The way the scales, they're, are those scales? I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, their armor, the way the armor is interlocked, interlinked with each other. That's how the Black Knight, that's how the Black Prince looks. With the Black Knight, there's no interlock and it looks like this all the way. Actually, it looks like this in the middle. That's how it looks like during the warmer months. So there's there's a little variation with the rosette shape of the Black Knight. But the Black Prince goes spread out and closes up when it's really warm. <clears throat> let me take you through some of my other specimens and let's see if you can spot which one's the Prince and which ones are the Knights. And apologies for what you're going to see next because my Black Princes were all infested by mealybugs and they only recently recovered from it, so... If you enjoyed this comparison video, please let me know so in the comments that way I would know that making videos like these would be a great way to fill in the gap between episodes of Let's Plant. And of course, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications that way you'd be notified 
with any new comparison videos come out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.